You want the device? Do you want the device recorded? No. Oh. <laughs> I got some shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You just need to see some footage. Just destination five minutes before I always turn the lights on so they can like get their stuff together we've been riding for like three hours for some people four hours for some other people why do you wait to the last minute to use the bathroom like <laughs> somebody always at the last minute oh can I use the bathroom everybody's exiting like, off the coach hey y'all I just got back to New York um well not just i got to new york around 10 59 so that's 30 minutes early you're supposed to get here at 11 30. i'm about to take a little break i have till pretty much 12 45 to like start moving start working again 12 45 because you got load the passages we don't need to one i think i might get down to dc like 5 20 5 30. of course depending on weather and traffic I was just thinking when I was driving here, like, of course, you know, you see a whole bunch of trucks. Even though people say they don't go to New York City or they don't be going up north, it'd be so many trucks up there. Um, and I was just thinking, like, sometimes I do miss the truck stops. I don't miss the whole aspect of truck driving. And that's not to say I would never do truck driving again. Like, you know, if certain water ever runs dry, then, of course, I will go back to truck driving or at least try it out. Either truck driving or I used to be a life insurance agent and I would do that again. Um, but anyway... Um, but that's why I be trying to like build my social media platforms up. I just don't be understanding why like they wait to the last minute to use the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Like really as a driver, a bus driver is different for truck drivers because you by yourself all the time anyway. You probably be lucky to uh, have somebody to talk to. But as a bus driver, we need mentally it's like we love the passengers or I personally, they you know, they cool with me. Um, but like even though they don't do nothing because this was a really good group. Nobody did nothing. You know what I mean? Nobody was like overly loud. And that's the main thing, really. That's the main thing I feel like where it'll be a bad group or not, you know, or I don't know. I don't know if I should say bad, but um, it's when somebody is too loud, they disrespectful, like, and not even disrespectful to you. Most of the time, they're not going to be disrespectful to the driver, but they be like cussing, got their music all out. Nobody was doing none of that. So it was a really good group. But come on off this bus. Like, <laughs> it's like mentally, we want to break. And it's like when people on the bus, it's like you still have to babysit them in a way like of course i'm not a babysitter but it kind of is adult babysitting it's not that many children that get on this bus honestly it's not even that many children that get on this bus it used to be a lot of people that you uh, a lot of children that used to get on greyhound but yeah 
all the people, I always knew this, but all the good people from Greyhound gone. Like, that's that's another reason why I left Greyhound. Because it's like, you know, like, your co-worker sometimes makes the job. And all the good people left. Like, I, I, like since I've been working here, and I've been here, tomorrow will be a month. Um, I have not seen anybody from Greyhound but two people. I seen this man named Homer, and I seen this other man. That's my homie, Ebanks. Um, that's the only two Greyhound drivers I have seen. That's nuts. And then um, like two of the ba- two of the customer service men. But other than that, I have seen nobody. Like nobody. They all gone. I'm guessing. I know a couple. Of, I know a couple of them went to Academy. A couple went to Coach USA. A couple, of course, went to the WMCA. A couple went to the MCA. And speaking of the MCA. I mean WMCA. It's probably the same for the MTA, but I don't. I think they might pay like a dollar or two less than a WMTA. Um, this man at work here, but he worked part time here. Like on the weekends, he talking about that. He said he make forty three dollars an hour over there at the um, WMTA. I'm like, God dang, that's crazy. I could, I couldn't never do no job like that though. Like it's that wouldn't be for me. Like. You really had to, like, even when y'all be thinking about coming over to be a bus driver, of course, I'll be glad to have y'all. But at the same time, you got to think, like, can you can you do it? Like, because it's like, it's, of course, you know, physically you can do it, but it's like certain stuff, like, a lot of people, they can't deal with the people and stuff like that. And it is a different way that you drive a truck from a bus. So that's a big thing, too. Like, some people, they can't do it. Uh, they can't. Shit, they can't. But I was thinking, I do be missing sometimes, like, about truck driving. I miss going to the truck stops. I miss going to, not even drive, but I'm working, like, 12 hours a day. And, um, because, you know, you got your break. Um, I'm working, like, 12 hours a day because, you know, you got your break. And uh, it's a lot. Like, it's really a lot. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I wish I could. I wish I did have a sleeper and not had to drive home because I, I live an hour and 10 minutes from work. So, um... I wish I, I wish I did have an opportunity, or at least if like, like say they had like a Boston, DC to Boston, you had and you had to spend the night in Boston and stuff like that. I would love that. I would hop on that quick, fast, in a hurry. Oh, that's actually why I came back on to tell you. Um, I was talking to the guy. You probably will see him in this video. He had a green jacket on earlier, and he told. I was asking him like, why you, why you not at work? Cause this is this is his run, and um, he was like, oh, they told me they cut it, and I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was lying a little bit. But I just like okay, and um, but I I just got an email that it's the this is the winter schedule now, so they did cut some runs. So I thought they was getting a run. Shoot, <laughs> yeah, I thought they was getting a run. Um, look, not not cutting. last video don't forget to go watch that it was really interesting uh my last video was a truck driver vlog just me driving in new york but it was a lot that was going on in that vlog i've been on here for six minutes too cold I just cut the shit back on for a minute or like 10 minutes 5 minutes 
for like a minute, ten minutes, five minutes, however long I need. My coat is pretty um this coat, I got it from Shein. It's pretty uh thick. It'll, it'll keep you warm. I'm toasty. Like now I put this coat on me. I'm toasty now. I just love being a bus driver. It's so therapeutic. Um oh that's another thing I wanted to say when I was driving up here. I be having so many thoughts when I be on the road. Uh like People make truck driving look glamorous, but not glamorous, number one. Number two, like, a lot of people, like, to be honest with you, I know they don't like trucking. Like, some people love it, and, that's, and they really do. But it's a lot of people faking like they love it, and they really don't. Um, I always kept it 100 of how I felt about it. Like, I like trucking. Um, but let's just say, for example... If I found a company, two companies, right, that was paying $2,300 every week. I'm not making that now. But, I mean, I could if I was working seven days. But still, seven days, that's not even no life. You can't even live your life working freaking seven days. But uh, $2,300, if I found a bus driving company, like, like that, or if I found a trucking company like that, I would be bus driving, but uh, that's just how I feel about it. Like I said, it's some it's some perks with the truck driving, but this company is like it's not that far from like how I the freedom I had when I was a truck driver. The only freedom the only freedom that I don't have here is the passengers. Like, but other than that, I got the same amount of freedom um, that I would have if I was driving a truck. Uh, at other companies like my last company I didn't like I mean they wasn't really big on the speed but it, they little they little speeding rule was you can't go over 20 you couldn't go over 20 miles an hour over, over one minute so that was that was like I probably ain't never gonna do that they said I did but I, I'm like I probably ain't gonna do that I mean that's it honestly that's that's it honestly but I said that to say no uh, like when y'all be willing to quit like when y'all do truck driving it's a lot of people that quit a lot of women i'm not gonna say people but it's a lot of women but men quit too a lot of women that quit truck driving because like people be saying like you know of course people still think i truck drive and stuff like that and like they'll say stuff on my videos like oh that's a man's job i agree i've always said that i've always said that truck driving was a man's job um I never said it was a woman's job or a woman can do it just as good as a man. I never said that. <laughs> but, um, and so they really be thinking they doing something. Now, I agree. Shit. I don't think a woman can do the truck driving as good as a man. They can do it, but just not as good. I, I personally, I always said bus driving was a woman's, like, more for women and truck driving was more for men. That's what I've always said. So that's what I just wait, basically wanted to say. Like, when you think about giving up truck driving, Come over to bus driving. Don't just go back to your corporate job. You might like bus driving. It's really free. Even Greyhound was kind of like free. Like, now they chill by the speed a little bit. I think if you go over 10 miles an hour or something like that for like 10 seconds, I believe. See, and that's kind of like what I like about this company. I like companies that's like not, um, not so commercial. You know what I mean? Like Greyhound is commercial. It's a big corporate company. And I'm contracted here, so I'm talking about my company that I personally work for. We're contracted um, with this company that we do the line runs with. Uh, so I'm talking about my the company that I work for. Uh, it's a small company. Uh, so, and I like that. Like, even like with the truck driving, it's better to work for small companies because I understand how some of the truck drivers be like, Oh, I used to like truck driving, but now it's not worth it anymore because it basically, I forgot the term that they say, but it's like, it's not fun. Like, once they do that, oh, all the trucks got to be six, going 60 miles an hour, that's not fun. I got to follow by these e-logs, that's not fun. You know what I mean? And then, with a truck driver, you don't want to follow by them e-logs because it's like, you get paid by the mile. Now, here, I get paid by the day, so I really don't care what I do. You know, I'm getting paid my same amount per day. Like, really don't matter. But, like, when you run the miles like that, like, that shit is annoying. Oh, I can only drive this amount. Even when I was working at Greenhouse, like, I was getting paid by the hour. Like, and it's like, like, I'm a runner. Like, if I'm at a good company, I will run. Um, so, like, I used to, like, well, you gotta, you, you can only, um, as a bus driver, truck driver, commercial driver, you can only run, um, 70 hours 
every eight days. And um, I used to tell this man, I forgot his name, not Whitaker, because he worked here. Um, I think his name was John. No, I, I feel like this wasn't his name. I don't know. He has a fucking Chinese last name. Um, he was black. His name might have been John. I don't know. But, um, dang. Uh, I used to tell him, like, dang, I wish you could run 90 hours every seven days. And he's like, girl, you was crazy. Uh, but, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know his first name, but his last name was Long. Um, uh, Eddie Long? I don't know. But his, I, his last name was definitely Long. Um, I think somebody said he likes to work at Greenhill. Uh, I'm not sure 100%. He's cool as hell, too. A lot of the people was cool from Greyhound. I really, I like most of the people. I just, I didn't, it was like two females I ain't like. Um, one was older and one was younger. The younger one, she ain't like me for some reason. I think because this guy she was dating liked me or she might have thought he liked me. But I've never talked to that guy. Now, he did invite me to truck one time. We were just talking and stuff like that. But um, I think that's why she she had a little attitude and she didn't like, she didn't work so it wasn't that I ain't like her and she ain't like me. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but everybody else was like, cool. Cool. Bus companies is, like I said, they most of the time they real family oriented. The last company, that's the only company that I felt like, oh, I'm not a part of this family. that way it wasn't like i'm just saying that no i literally really felt like mm, i don't really fit here white bus here and it had Maryland tags like I told you that it said I, we got an email that somebody that people runs was cut I wanted to get it to them because that's how like buses is anyway like people like uh, bus companies they be underbidding and stuff like that like academy do that a lot I've heard um that's how they like pretty much took over the east coast they be underbidding um and sending in donations <laughs>
all right y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe we don't have to have a little intermission because y'all do not be liking as much as y'all should and y'all definitely don't be commenting as much as y'all should But my favorite, well, one of my favorite stuff is Victoria. She always gonna show out. I love her. <laughs> but anyways, I just went to Chopped. I've been loving Chopped. Because I'm always on a weight loss journey. I just don't be taking that shit serious. <laughs> well, I used to be so skinny uh, back in the day. I used to be like 130 pounds. I probably don't want to be that skinny. But I do want to lose some weight. So I'll be going to chop. But I'll be feeling like what I be getting from chop can't be healthy. Y'all see what I get from chop on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to be. child in this very moment i knew i didn't f up and i only take this way because i feel like it's shorter like i said if not i would have took 95 but now i know don't be taking this way if it's windy or raining when i tell you how bone i'm finna be they talking about all right so the bay bridge got shut down because the currency is too high um and they talk about, and the alternative route, I'm like an hour away. The alternative route, she's talking about, I mean, it's four hours. And I told her that or whatever. She's like, well, since it's closed, you want to take the alternative route. And I know that going four hours, I wouldn't get back to her. And I started work today at, um, man, like, work um, than normal 
but you still want your pay the same amount because you get paid by the day. So anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all. Thank you for watching. But yeah, y'all, i rather get paid by the day. I always say that. I'd rather get paid by the day because it's usually, like, people usually pay you more if you want to get paid by the day versus the hour and stuff like that. But at this company, like, if I was getting paid by the hour, I would not be here, you know? I would not be here um, because it's, like, I, it's less than my last company um, and it's less than what Greyhound is even starting off at. And y'all know I've had my CDL for about four years, so, I mean... Like after a certain amount of years, we be like, y'all know, you gonna have to turn up the pay. Uh, I haven't said anything, like I said, because I get paid by the day anyway. And I love the day pay, but I, I mean, I, honestly, in a few months, I'm gonna ask to get like a uh, bump up on that too, because I was going to when I was getting in the door, but I never had an opportunity to talk to anybody about pay. Yet they kind of just gave this to me, but somebody had already told me, no, I need to ask for this amount of pay or whatever, but I, I really wasn't able to. And it's like, I mean, I'm already here now, and I'm cool with what I get paid but in a couple months I'm sorry if I'm still here I'm going to bump it up again because this other man showed me what he getting paid and I don't gotta get paid what he get paid but I need to be getting close to it or he need to not be showing his pay <laughs>